hello students welcome back today we will talk about inflorescence now what is an inflorescence and all these basic terms i'm not going into this you all know these things so i'll straight away start with this right so our today's topic is inflorescence inflorescence is mainly of three types racemos cymos and special types of inflorescence okay <clears throat> this is a very quick revision please pay full attention and try to remember the examples along with the terms okay so what is racemos racemos inflorescence is such an inflorescence or collection of flower where axis has indeterminate growth that is terminal bud continues to grow in acropetal succession flowers open in acropetal succession and growth is indeterminate that means it goes on growing it doesn't stop next cymos <clears throat> next is cymos cymos is what terminal bud becomes a flower so growth is stopped it is not indeterminate like racemos third is special types okay we have hypanthodium cyathium and verticillaster this is little different from these and it is special so let's start with racemos what is it flower opening in centripetal fashion centripetal manner that is what the outer or basal flowers open first and the central or upper flowers open last okay the flowers open in acropetal succession remember the, this word acropetal succession that means <coughs> from the base the flower starts to open this will bloom first then this then this like this one two three like this it goes on okay in cymos let's see what is it <clears throat> terminal bud becomes a flower here the terminal bud here becomes a flower the main axis has determinate growth flowers are arranged in basi petal succession older flowers are at the top and younger flowers at the base just the opposite of this one okay that means what the flowers start to open from the top this one will be the first flower this will be the second this will be the third this will be the fourth like this okay so we'll start a discussion on racemos inflorescence racemos inflorescences are of two types simple and compound okay simple raceme you see you have raceme spike catkin spadix corymb umbel and capitulum right for compound also compound here you have panicle and these types with the additional compound name here compound spike compound spadix compound corymb compound umbel and compound capitulum now we'll study each of the, these terms in details so we'll start with simple racemos inflorescence okay here the peduncle is unbranched remember this important line rather this is the most important line that makes it different from compound one okay the peduncle is unbranched okay now first is raceme what is it the peduncle is unbranched elongated axis stalked flowers are arranged in acropetal succession example you have mustard radish all these things hmm? see here this is raceme how is it the peduncle is unbranched and the flowers are stalked that means 
pedicellate flowers this is the flower these are the flowers and they are stalked right you will see this in mustard radish all these plants next coming to spike flowers are sessile and arranged in acropetal succession definition is more or less same that is peduncle unbranched elongated axis for spike the only difference is what the flowers are sessile see stalks are not here stalks are not present they are sessile it is found in acaidanthus amaranthus calistemon calistemon is bottle brush okay all these plants okay oh, done next we come to catkin this is pendulous spike or spike like inflorescence consisting of small unisexual flowers remember unisexual flowers you can find uh, this in mora salba that is mulberry salix betula right so with what is the key word here unisexual here it is in the beginning it is stalked pedicellate here sessile here unisexual next coming to spadix what is it spadix with thick and fleshy axis covered by one or more large bracts called spadi it is found in maize banana colocasia other palms okay <clears throat> see here this is spadix this is the large spadi this is the spadix and this is the peduncle this is your spadix inflorescence next we have corymb modified raceme with short peduncle in which lower flowers have much elongated pedicel lower flowers have much elongated pedicel see in corymb you will see the lower flowers this flower has a shorter pedicel see but the lower one just lower to it has longer this one is even lower to it has an even longer pedicel this is even more lower to it and has got an even longer pedicel but did you notice that all the flowers are at the same level okay so that all the flowers come to the same level this is found in candy tuft or iberis amara okay next coming to umbel <clears throat> modified raceme in which flowers have stalks of nearly equal length and they seem to arise from the same point at the apex of short peduncle peduncle an involucre of bracts is generally present at the place of origin of flowers it is found in centella asiatica see here the difference see if you just look from here above the pen the flowers are at an equal level same level <clears throat> isn't it here also here also the difference lies in the length of pedicel and the origin of pedicel here they are originating from different points from here from here then from here and they <clears throat> have uh, different lengths of pedicel to have all the flowers at the same level <clears throat> here also the flowers are at the same level but the point of origin is same hmm the point of origin here is same and they are nearly equal in length the stalks are nearly equal in length next we have capitulum hmm? what is that modified raceme in raceme in which the main axis is flattened into a receptacle <clears throat> convex or concave and bears numerous small sessile flowers called florets arranged in centripetal manner okay capitulum is subtended by an involucre of bracts fine you all know it is found in the family asteraceae hmm? 
aster, dahlia, then uh, sunflower, helianthus, anas, and all those flowers you will see it. Next, we come to compound resin. Here, the panicle, here we have panicle C. Axis is branched. So, our key word here is branched. And flowers are born in acropetal succession. Succession is same, acropetal. But previously in racing, what was it? The axis is unbranched. Here it is branched. Okay. And flowers are born on acropetal succession on lateral branches. Okay, it is found in Gulmohan, that is Delonyx, Cassia, Fistula, Yucca, all these. Next, coming to compound spadix. <clears throat> Here you see spike inflorescence in which axis is branched and sessile flowers are born in acropetal succession at lateral branch. This is lateral branch. The spikelet is a very small spike, compound <coughs> very small spike of a compound spike forming a unit. Examples you can see this in grasses. Okay. Now see it is a kind of spadix in which the axis is branched. Remember this axis is branched. Usually the whole inflorescence is covered by a stiff boat shaped spadix. Sometimes each spadix of a compound spadix is covered by smaller This is found in coconut or cocos nucifera. Okay. Next we have compound corim. Here you see modified corim in which the axis is branched and each branch bears a corim like inflorescence. Okay. What is corim you have already learnt? Right. The axis here is branched again. So this remains the same. Axis is branched and each of this branch, the branches bear a corim-like inflorescence. It is found in Brassica oleracea. Next we have compound dumbbell. <clears throat> Axis is branched again. Nothing new. And the branches appear to arise from one point. You knew it. See? From one point here it was from different point so the pedicels were of different length but the flowers were at a at the same level here also flowers are at the same level but the pedicels are of equal length in volucar of bract is present at the base of the branches and the and flowers it is found in coriander dhania docus carota that is carrot okay now finally coming to compound capitulum the main axis of the capitulum inflorescence is branched and several capitula plural this capitula are included within the same involucre of bracts ok it is found in echinops echinatus right so this is how we complete our racemos inflorescence hope you have enjoyed the lecture if you have any confusion please get back to me in the comment section Stay tuned for Simo's inflorescence and special types of inflorescences. Okay, till then, goodbye.